Coming up on the first pitch, our starting pitcher in this one, Bailey Falter. Well, he's been a real quality starter for his club. And coming into this one, what stands out for me is that right-handed hitters have really struggled batting below 200 on the year. It seems that they have a hard time picking up his release point and tracking the ball into the zone. So we'll see how right-handers do against him in this one. Ready to go now. And stepping in, the rookie left fielder, Jackson Chorio, trying to pick up his first knock in the big leagues. Two and two. Swing and this one's bounced to the ground. And that chance handled in plenty of time to first. One out in the top of the first. Let's take a look at the Brewers lineup. They've had a great year offensively, as good an offensive team as you will find. They're deep, first and foremost, but the way that they can manipulate their personnel for matchups and everything else, it's. Uh, very intelligent the way that they use their team and I, I think it creates a little bit of uh, uncertainty for opposing teams especially in a big game okay. big series inside ball four that in third. one gone runner at first and now it's William Contreras and a pitch. Wouldn't chase that time. Man at first, one away. Run around the goal. Pitch misses. Throw to second, great jump, and that is a stolen base. It wasn't even close. I think that still kind of sets the tone, not just for this game, but for the entire series. First inning, game one, so that kind of tells me they're going to be aggressive on offense and try to force the issue whenever they can. And a pitch. Fouled off down the right side. Really great change of speeds. He goes off the off speed to the fastball, and the hitter doesn't know what's coming next. Got it by him for the K. And that's the first strikeout of his major league career. And it could be the first of many if he meets the goals he set for himself and the expectations others have for him. He doesn't want to just win games. He wants to dominate at this level. Do you think young pitchers could sometimes get too caught up in trying to rack up K's early in their career? Boog, I think they can. It's kind of like a hitter that doesn't have power. The thrill is still hitting a ball over the fence. And so for a guy, even if he doesn't have power stuff or strikeout stuff, a strikeout is still something that makes him stick his chest out a little bit further. Just off the inside corner. Three and two down. Willie Adamas waiting for a turn at the plate. Runner at second, two down. And we're just getting started here at the top of the first. And a swing and a miss. And that's down. Sometimes he wears the emotion on the sleeve, but that's okay as long as he's getting results. And right there, thrilled with the punch out to get out of a jam. Back here in Pittsburgh, on the hill here today, Tobias Myers. And singing a special day for him. He's making his major league debut here. And I'm sure he's got some nerves. He'll be excited for that first pitch to be in and over with so that he can settle in to pitching just like he did in the minor leagues. Exciting moment. He's got his family in town. I think this moment's going to be a huge tone setter for his career. Bottom of the first. And yeah, the batter now, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. Looking for his first big league hit right here. Next offering is downstairs. And another ball. First pitch strike from the pitcher, but then no panic at all by the hitter. Very patient, showing good discipline. Now he's in the driver's seat with a 3-1 count. Smash to center, way back, and you can forget it. Home run. A gigantic blast. His first homer of the year, and it gives him the lead in the first. It's 1-0.
He absolutely crushed that one. No doubt about that one, Boog. We knew it wasn't coming back. Knew what pitch he wanted to hit, spent on some other pitches in this at bat, was very patient, and it paid off. Ryan Reynolds here. The wind of the pitch. Swing and a foul over the screen and back out of play. With the big bats coming up and a home run already surrendered, he's really going to have to execute against these next couple of batters. Hit hard on the ground is short. Adamas, the throw to first. And they take care of Reynolds for the out. We take a check of the Pirates lineup put together by manager Derek Shelton. This is not a team that's had much success driving the baseball so far this year. They have to rely on stringing hits together as opposed to scoring a lot of runs on homers, doubles, and triples. So it's hard to bunch runs together. And that's exhausting when your team is at the bottom of the league in slugging percentage and how much it takes Bert, for you to put together a rally and put together a big inning. Just a difficult uh, thing to do consistently over a long season. So somehow, some way, somebody's going to have to find some power in this lineup so that they can have some easier wins and enjoy this season a little bit more. O'Neill Cruz with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, Boog. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Myers, keeping him close. This is a great dynamic right here. Speedy runner at first, thinking about taking second. Catcher with the pop time that leaves Jaws on the floor. This might get interesting, boo. Here's Andrew McCutcheon to hit. Comes up empty. That's strike two. Chases that one out of the zone, and now two gone. That's that classic wipeout slider below the zone right there. Just nasty. Looks like a fastball thigh high that you got to protect the zone, and then it's just that late break that fools you and kind of makes you look silly. This is Joey Bart. So a foul ball makes it one and two. Two outs. Struck him out swinging. Slider got him for strike three. One in the inning for the Pirates on this solo homer. It's now 1-0. Back here at PNC Park, Willie Adamas stands in. Willie Adamas. Swings through that one for strike two. Pitch misses. The count now two and two. Well, he might have to look for a different put away pitch right here, two two. He's already seen the curveball a couple of times in this at bat, so might have it timed up and ready for it. Swing and a miss, and he struck him out. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. But when you commit to throwing an inside fastball to your glove side across the strike zone, especially with two strikes, if you're going to miss, you want to miss off the plate in. You do not want to leave it out over the heart of the plate. So that was excellent execution on that pitch. Really tied him up, and he couldn't get a piece at all. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. And it's strike two. Two Mm -hmm. 
Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Thought it was a pretty good pitch. Top of the strike zone. We're seeing more fastballs in that location. Hitters, especially with two strikes, have to be ready to pull the trigger. Next for the Brewers, Sal Fraley. Two down, nobody on. Ball two. Swing and a miss. He was late. Strike two. Instead of letting the hitter get his arms extended, tied him up a little bit, slightly up, slightly in. Packs and misses. It's a strikeout. Gone in order are the Brewers. And it remains 1 0. And we're back. Bottom of the inning at the plate for Pittsburgh. Brian De La Cruz. The wind of the pitch. This to third. Fires over to Hoskins. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Now the third baseman. It's interesting he plays kind of a, a power spot defensively, but runs pretty well. So when you're looking at that position, you're not expecting someone that has maybe above average speed, but he does. Into the outfield base hit. So a man aboard now with one away. Man at first with one gone. Nick York digs in now. Here goes the runner on the ground right side and it's through for a hit and they'll have runners at the corners after a one out single Nick York with his first major league hit and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget congrats yeah great moment for him and his family a guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen and when it does can kind of be overwhelming you still have to stay locked in on the game but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here Josh Palacios the next pirate to hit Ball. and it is two and one Right hander kicks deals. There's a swing and a miss. Great spot to be in right here for the pitcher. You can either strike this guy out or get a ground ball double play. And the righty deals. Still two and two after the foul ball. Righty delivers. Out off the plate, they'll do it again. And the pitch. Palacios tries to check his swing. Now a look to third. No swing. Earl Hendricks with the call. Two on, one out. Keeps the at-bat going with a foul ball. Ninth pitch of the at-bat due next. And they're all loaded up. It wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at-bat. Well, that's a nice job of grinding out that at-bat. Saw a lot of pitches and ends up drawing the walk. Very gritty. So the Pirates batting order turns over. Isaiah kiner falefa up to the plate. Siggy, he's got a history of coming through into big spots. I know 
I like to talk about I'm not sure whether clutch actually exists but you look at the numbers and this guy always seems to deliver in those spots here's a 1 1 ground ball left side could be two Ortiz toss the second and that's two this team is ready to make a play with the bases loaded excellent job of execution there you turn the double play and the inning is over and welcome back to the ballpark here is the rookie third baseman Joseph Ortiz and another ball fights it off you'll see another 2-2 two -two now ball three full count Stays alive. Got him looking. And he did not like the call. Really love the pitch sequence right there. I'm telling you what, pitcher and catcher are on the same page right now. This is Bryce Terang. Left hand batter waits. Swing and a ball popped up. Drifts towards it. Hauls it in for the out. So the lineup flips over. Jackson Chorio up now for the Brewers. Two outs, bases empty. The 1 1 is fouled off. Go well, Chris through the early stages. He hasn't been very efficient in terms of the pitch count. He's going to need to get some quick outs if he's going to get deeper into this game. Yeah, the one two misses to even the count. It is interesting though when you consider the way the game is run now doesn't even matter that much if your starter doesn't go that deep and there's the third out that'll do it for the inning. Brewers go down quietly. They're down one nothing. As we go to the last of the third at the plate for Pittsburgh, Brian Reynolds. Right side, hard hit. Steps on first for the out. The batter, the center fielder, O'Neill. Here's O'Neill Cruz. He's someone that you might not describe as having elite level speed, but he can absolutely move, and it is a factor in his game. No. Next pitch is outside. Boog, this guy's definitely a plus runner, but what I love about him is that he goes all out every single time, never takes a break. It's guys like that, even though they don't have the elite speed, the fact that they're consistent with it, they make moves okay. on the base paths. The first base One down, and now it's Andrew McCutcheon. McCutcheon. Cruz, the base runner at first with one out. If he were an average catcher behind the plate, I'd say take second base, but this isn't a catcher you want to run on. His quick release is unreal. Out towards left center. No trouble here. Puts it away for the out. Out number two. Here's Joey the Bart now. Myers checks the runner and he dives back in safely. Two outs. Swing and a miss as he was out front that time.
at the belt and fires. Just misses. Now two and two. It's a good take. Swings through it, and that's a strikeout. So one left for Pittsburgh, but they're on top, one nothing. Back here in Pittsburgh, start of the fourth. Up now for Milwaukee, Blake Perkins. And now the lefty. That one misses. Two and one. Well, these Brewers, to put it bluntly, need to put together more competitive at-bats, and I don't think they've lived up to their own expectations at the plate. Strikeouts are a little easier to stomach in baseball today, but even by those standards, they're going down way too often, and I think they're having a hard time getting any momentum going as a result. So now here's the DH, William Contreras. The lefty fires. Swing and a miss. And a count one and two. It's pitching well, but not throwing a ton of first pitch strikes. Usually doesn't work out for success, but you can never predict baseball. Fuel makes the grab. Two down. Gary Sanchez at the plate. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate. Good game caller, good at framing, but it's that big arm that really stands out. Yeah, and because he's got the big arm, he pays attention to the running game and is sure to manage it. Yeah, there's a ball. When you have a catcher that can throw like that, a pitcher doesn't have to worry as much about the slide step. He can keep his mechanic. Oh, now this is blasted. Way back there. On its way. Gone. A massive home run. And this game is tied. It's 1-1. Those are the at-bats that leave pitchers exhausted. He had to throw a lot of pitches and still gave up the long ball. That's a bad combo. Looks like this guy was looking out over the plate, but he was ready to turn on the inside fastball. So direct to the pitch. Absolutely blasted out of this ballpark. So it's all tied up thanks to the home run. Willie Adamas up now for the Brewers. That one almost got him. Two two down. And a foul ball. He stays alive. 2-2 two -two now. Battling here as he fouls it away. Two down, nobody on. That Hold one is down. upstairs. This one smoked on its way out of here. That was blasted to the moon. His first homer of the year, it's 2-1. He kept swinging, and it paid off. Well, that was a battle, Boog, and he just kept taking his cuts. Finally squared one up. Back-to-back -back jacks, and this club is fired up right now, Boog. I mean, this is the kind of thing where you really start to notice hitters in a lineup feeding off each other, and the collective confidence just continues to grow. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. 
on the ground. Foul and foul ball. Bases empty, two away, but two runs are in. Top half of inning number four. So critical to keep an eye on the pitch count this time of the year. Guys can start to run on fumes a little bit. Mechanics Ball. can drop off. And we know they Ball need count. him to be fresh and ready for big innings in October. Outside, and that is ball four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Now a great back and forth in that at bat. He had to play off some really close pitches, and somehow, but he found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there. I'll tell you right now, I couldn't have done it. Swing, and he breaks his bat. And he barehands it to first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Sal Fraley with his first major league hit and this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget congrats yeah great moment for him and his family a guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen and when it does it can kind of be overwhelming dude. you still have to stay locked in on the game but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you work to get here first and second two down Here's the third baseman, Joseph Ortiz. Two on, two outs. Swing and a miss. Looked off balance that time. One, two now. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Hoskins on second. Fralick on at first with two now. Foul ball still a one and two count. Two outs. Two, two. In the dirt. And an excellent job keeping it right there. The pitch. Foul ball, another 2-2 two -two upcoming. Eighth pitch of the at back coming up. Fouls that off to the left, and we'll do it again. Kicks and fires. Gets a piece, and stays alive. And a pitch. And another ball. Bryce Terang waits on deck. And here's a 3-2. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. The lefty closing in on 100 pitches. That's a base hit. Coming home. Fires it to the plate, but it's offline. So he gets two milestones with that hit. His first big league knock. And he drives in his first run as well. Yeah, you love to get both of those out of the way with just one swing of the bat. And it makes the special moment even more special. It's not just an individual accomplishment when you're also driving in a run for your team. That's an at-bat he's never going to forget. And stepping in is the speedy Bryce Terang. Late swing, foul to the left. Oh. Up and in, two balls, two strikes, two outs. Couple of base runners at first and second. That one misses, and that's ball three. Really close pitch down around the knees there, and you could see him asking where it missed. Probably doesn't agree, but it appears he's ready to move on to the next pitch. And he deals. Up the middle, York on the run, sends it over to first, to first, and he beats it, everyone's safe. 
Bryce Terang with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, great moment for him and his family. A guy worked so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but it's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you've worked to get here. Derek Shelton out of the dugout, and he will make the move. Bailey Falter departs, and the line not closed on him yet as he's responsible for the runners on base. Back with a new pitcher after this. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Paul Steens. A tough spot to make your major league debut with the bases loaded. Man, no kidding. Trial by fire, I guess, but I got to think they would have rather given him a chance to make his debut in a less stressful situation, and all I can say is best of luck. Jackson Chorio getting ready to hit. Well, he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations. If he takes that approach, he could bust this game wide open. Check swing. Now a look down to first. No swing. Just held it back there. The pitch. Fouls it back with two strikes. A little tardy on that fastball. He's going to have to get it going a little quicker. Get that front foot down. And that one missing low. And a swing and a miss. Huge strike out there. But two round trippers in this inning. The long ball was working. It's now a 3-1 ball game. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Now it's the right fielder, Brian De La Cruz. And that one hit to first. Can't field it cleanly. Flip to the pitcher is in time. And that's out number one on a tough play. This is what it's all about on that right side of the diamond when you've got the first baseman involved and the pitcher as well. First baseman does a great job, knocks the ball down, gets away from a little bit, doesn't panic. The pitcher's exactly where he's supposed to be. Nice feed and a nice play for the out. Now the third baseman. That one lifted to left, under it. He's got it. That's out number two. Just pulled off of it a little bit right there. That front shoulder coming open instead of staying closed. If he does that, he's going to be able to go up the middle the other way with some authority instead of a fly out to left. The wind and the pitch. Late that time, and it's strike two. Wow, good luck catching up to that one. The Brewers leading by two. We're here at the bottom of the fourth. And another ball. That one not close. And that's ball three. Payoff pitch. Swing and a foul ball at the plate. They'll do it again. Kicks and deals. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. And the right-hander deals. And there's ball, ball four. four. It base. wasn't easy, but he earned that walk after a long at bat. One of the things about that two-out walk, the base runner over at first base is going to have a very aggressive secondary lead. So a ball down the line or into the gap will produce a two-out RBI, and those are the best. That is, if you are the offensive side of it. Would chase that time. Meanwhile, activity in the bullpen. Kevin Herkett appears to be getting ready. And I'm sure he's feeling some nerves. This would be his major league debut. Kaney, the lefty, warming up as well. Righty to the plate. That one finds the zone. It's two and two. York off the first with two away.
Spoils a two strike pitch and he'll see another. And here it comes. Into center. Should have this one. And that is the inning. Pirates leave one. Score holds. It's 3 1. Ready now for the fifth inning. Now it's the switch hitting outfielder, Blake Perkins. We talk about guys with good speed, and definitely he has it. But pushing the offense aside for just a second, Chris, Ball. it's the defensive side that I think the speed factors in the most. Ball. And that gets the top of the zone for a strike. Well, he gets to balls that get by most people at that position. Just really impressive because there are certain times a ball comes off the bat, automatically that team that hit it thinks that they've got a base hit or they may have extra bases, and he just takes it away. And oh, another yeah. ball. High fly ball, shallow right field. One away. Up next William the Contreras. Up now for the Brewers. Brewers. This kid picked up in a trade. A lot was offered and given to get him, but he's got a real high ceiling. Way out front for strike two. Fouls it off, still one and two. Two, and that's two. outside. Oh, can't pick it up cleanly. And he's going to make yep, it to first. It. And we'll see how they score it. Well, it looked like a pretty routine play. Just couldn't get it to stick in the glove as he gets tagged with the error. Should have been two outs in the inning, but now they have to work around it and get two more. Runner on at first with one gone. And here comes the power hitting catcher, Gary Sanchez. Missed no. with a changeup. Two and one. Two ball. One strike. The pitch. Yeah. Swing and a miss. Slider right there. Well, and those hitters count sometimes can be a little too aggressive, and a good pitcher will play off of that. He's got to get a better pitch to hit. No. And it's filled up. Oh, yeah. And that one hammered way back there. And it's caught just in front of the wall. So digging in, Willie Adamas. Two outs. That's foul off to the right side. Keeps the A.B. going. Outside, and that is ball four. That's a great at bat. He saw a lot of pitches and earned a walk. Not what he wanted to do right there, Boog. That keeps this inning alive, puts a runner in the scoring position, and a chance for this offense to add on to their lead. Next to hit, Reese Hoskins.
Two on, two outs. Next pitch in for a strike. Here they count, one and two. Bounce to the right, and it goes just foul. And a pitch. Got him. That ends the frame. Brewers strand a couple, but they still lead it 3 1. Back now, now to start the bottom of the fifth and taking over on the mound, Kevin Hergen. On for his major league debut, so we'll see if he's ready for the big stage. He just has to remember this is the same game that he's played all the way through the minor leagues to this point. The only difference, there are just more people in the stands and it's a bigger stadium, but the game itself is still the same. Look at the catcher, whatever fingers he puts down, that's what you throw, and just let him lead you in this one. That one away, still one and two. Line drive, makes the grab one away. That swing right there tells me he's seeing the ball pretty well. I know it didn't produce a hit, but he made solid contact, and that's all you're looking to do anytime you're at the plate. Now the number two hitter, Brian Reynolds. One out, base is empty. One down, base is empty. Ball, and now two and two. Ball, and three. another ball. He should get a pretty good pitch to hit here with three hole hitter coming up if he's walked. At the belt and fires. Line drive. That's a base hit out of the left center field. So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Now Brian Reynolds with his first major league hit. And this is a moment I'm sure he'll never forget. Congrats. Yeah, a great moment for him and his family. A guy works so hard and has to wait so long for this to happen. And when it does, it can kind of be overwhelming, dude. You still have to stay locked in on the game, but. It's great when you can take a minute to just appreciate what you've done and how hard you worked to get here. One gone runner at first. O'Neill Cruz, the next pirate to hit. Right-handed reliever. Two. And a big swing and a miss. One ball, two strikes. down swinging for the strikeout couldn't hit the fastball at the knees up next for the Pirates Andrew McCutcheon Started after the one two pitch appeal to first he did not go around. Right hander kicks deals fights it off you'll see another. That one missed. 3-2, two, two out, runner on first. A lot of movement in the infield. Hitters got to stay focused on the pitch. The Pirates trailing by two. Last half of inning number five. 
on the ground to third. And that one handled. Tosses across the first. Gets him easily. Ends the inning. So one left for Pittsburgh. And they still trail it here. Three to one. We're back, and they make a change to start the sixth. The new pitcher, Jalen Beeks, on for his major league debut and a moment he will never forget. Better believe that. It's always so special the first time you get into a big league ball game. I did it as a position player, but for him, as a pitcher, I'm sure there's some nerves there. Probably don't want to squeeze the baseball too tight. Just relax and do what you're capable of doing. The pitch. On the ground to short. Connor Falefa throws the first in town. And that's one out as they get the leadoff hitter in the sixth. Next for Milwaukee, Joseph Ortiz. One really cool moment I remember at PNC Park is the 2006 Home Run Derby during All-Star Weekend. David Ortiz and Ryan Howard each hit homers into the Allegheny River on the fly. Really awesome to watch. One down, base is empty. Goes the high knee past him. That's a strikeout. Boyd gets talked about a lot, but a good high fastball in a two-strike situation, it's just become such a problem for hitters in more recent years. But with all of the emphasis by pitchers on developing that spin rate, having a good grip on the baseball, those high fastballs, they kind of look like to the hitter that they're rising, even though they're not, but they're not decreasing in velocity and spin rate, so very difficult to get the barrel on it. Pitch misses there, and the count is even two and two. That one blasted deep to right. De La Cruz raging back towards the wall. And it bangs off the top of the wall. And that's a two-out double. A couple of hits in a row for him here. Recognized the break on that pitch early, and that allowed him to keep his front shoulder in. You know, it's easy to bail on those front door breaking balls, but a great job right there of letting it travel, then unloading a nice balanced swing. Back to the top of the Milwaukee order. And the batter now, Jackson Chorio. Man on second, two down. Fouls one off, two and two. You can see he was trying to stay back long enough to handle the off-speed pitch, but just a little tardy on the fastball. And another ball. Blake Perkins hitting on deck circle. Two outs and one in scoring position. And it's second. Got him looking, and he didn't like the call. One hit, one left. We go to the bottom half of inning number six, and the five, six, seven slots do up. It's the Brewers three, and the Pirates one. here at PNC Park bottom of the six and here's the catcher Joey Bart and that's off the inside edge and a count two and one movement in Milwaukee's bullpen Trevor McGill getting ready to go Paul also getting ready The count two and one right through there for a strike. Well, in this one, the offense has sputtered. Somebody's got to find a way to get on, keep the line moving, and manufacture at least one run. Then maybe you get two or three. Two, two. That one missing inside. And down on strikes he goes. 
One down. Well, he's going to have some thinking to do when he leaves the ballpark after this one. That was his third strikeout, and this one looking, obviously, so he's been a little overmatched. He's got to find a way just to be more competitive up there. And now the right fielder, Brian De La Cruz. Righty delivers. Out front and foul to the left side. The Brewers holding on to a two-run lead here in the bottom of the sixth. Bouncer to second. Terang. Fires over to first. Two up, two down. Now batting. Third baseman. Jeffrey. Three holo. Here's the third baseman. Foul ball still a one and two count. Two down, nobody on to the right side. Terang tosses to first, and the Pirates go one, two, three. Nothing doing here for Pittsburgh, and it remains a three one ball game. with a new arm on the mound Colin Holderman and yeah, this is the best way to make your major league debut no one on base yeah you're already going to be a little nervous out there so I think it's a nice job by the skipper to get him in here without any added pressure with traffic on the bases up now for Milwaukee Blake Perkins Blake Perkins here comes a pitch Swing and a miss. That's strike two. Good late sink on that fastball. Out of the hand looks so good. And then by the time he gets in the hitting zone, hard to get the barrel to it. Swings and misses. Struck him out. Very frustrating right there as a speedy potential base runner when with two strikes you just struggle to put the ball in play. You don't even have to get a hit at that point. You can help your team just by reaching on an error, but some way you got to find a way to shorten up the swing and put the ball in play next time. So here's the Brewers DH. William Contreras. 1-1 one, one now. Ah! Holderman, a very difficult guy to get hits off of. It's really rare for teams to string stuff together against him. He wins every pitch, and for a hitter, sometimes a victory is just fouling off one of his pitches. Next offering misses down and away. Unless he beats himself, somehow can't find it, doesn't have the control command that day, you can pretty much forget about it. That one misses, and it's three and two. As a hitter, there's even more pressure to take advantage of any mistake, right? Yeah, and you're hoping that you know somehow, some way, whether it's a hit by pitch, a walk, something bad happens because outside of that, stuff is just too good to fail. Chance to strike out the side now. You talk about the benefits, the advantages of relievers who can come in and get the swing and miss, whether it's inherited runners or maybe a little jam that they get into themselves. Knowing that they can miss the bat, tell you what, that's huge and can change the ball game. And he's got deception in his delivery, and it's not that he's trying to deceive the hitters. He just has this natural flow that makes it hard for hitters to pick the ball up. It gets on them a little bit quicker than they anticipate. Ah, that ends the inning, so we take a break. Nobody left for Milwaukee as the lead remains 3-1. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Trevor McGill. This is his first appearance of the season. Now it's the second baseman, Nick York. The second baseman, Nick York. The wind of the pitch. Hammers that one deep left field and forget it. A 
gigantic blast. It's 3-2. That was blasted. Absolutely no doubt off the bat. Sometimes it's the pitcher looking at the scoreboard for velocity, but in this case, it's the hitter. He just turned around triple digits at the dish. I don't even know how he saw that pitch. Maybe he didn't, but he got a home run out of it. Josh Palacios will hit next. Looking to get the tying run on base. Swings through that one. One, two. Three, three. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Well, that's such a critical pitch in terms of execution right there. The pitcher has to finish it. Otherwise, probably gets hit pretty hard. If you leave that out over the plate or you don't get it down enough, quickly turns into something that gets smoked. But if you can place it where he did, it's a really deceptive pitch. So the batting order turns over. Here's the shortstop at the play. Isaiah Kiner-Falefa. Jack Swing went around. It's a ball and two strikes. He goes down looking. So next to the plate for Pittsburgh, Brian Reynolds. Holding on to a one-run lead here at the bottom of the seventh. And there's a foul ball. That's to third. Base hit. That was smoked through the infield. So a two-out knock keeps the inning alive. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. That's a team to bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. D.L. Hall comes on now. This softball has been really good against left-handed hitters. And now the center fielder, O'Neill Cruz. And a count one and two. Right now, they're looking for something hit hard into the gaps, give them an opportunity with two outs to score that run from first. Two outs. Oh, and that no. misses off the outside edge. Man, oh man, I don't know how you take that pitch. That's as close as it gets. Run around the move. Pitch is low. Sanchez throws. Two late. Stolen base. Well, with that kind of elite arm he has behind the plate, man, it's a pretty big deal when you can swipe a bag against this dude. Maybe more than anything, it prevents teams from just testing him, thinking that they can even steal the base. But right here, they successfully moved that runner up to scoring position. Good job. So the tying run at second. And ball four to a board. Walks out of the bullpen can absolutely kill your momentum very quickly. There's some hot water trying to protect this lead. Andrew McCutcheon now at the plate. This is what stat nerds like myself might call a high leverage situation. Yeah, but not sure what the numbers say, but clearly an at bat that could change the course of this game dramatically. Two on, two outs. Ground ball to Bill. That's a base hit. Runner around third on his way to the plate. The throw is off the line, and he's in to score. A big two-out hit, and the game is tied. So he gets two milestones with that hit, his first big league knock, and he drives in his first run as well. Yeah, you love to get both of those out of the way with just one swing of the bat, and it makes this special moment even more special. It's not just an individual accomplishment when you're also